G'day folks, it's the Maple Monkey here again with another uh, Marvel United homebrew uh, video for you. Um, and uh, this is, yeah, this is going to be the brute force that uh, we've just um, got sort of wrapped up, finished up, uh, and put on uh, the uh, fandom uh, Marvel United wiki uh, page on the in the homebrew section. We've also got these guys up in uh, the Marvel United Discord as well. So, um, yeah, if you want a superhero team of, <laughs> of cuddly animals, or maybe not so cuddly animals, um, yeah, brute force is where it's at. So these guys have been a lot of fun to put together, and um, and so I wanted to sort of uh, film a, a video showing them off as well, and give you a sense for how they work as well, because they've got a few sort of extra sort of module uh, sort of modes and things like that. Um, and I think they are they're pretty fun and wacky. Um, some of the modes probably make them a little bit easier as well. Um, and I think uh, in particular some of the things you can do with them are particularly suited to uh, playing with like with your kids and that sort of stuff, where you know you have some. Uh, powerful characters and that sort of that sort of thing and they can have a lot of fun with it so um, that's the sort of the premise behind them but there are also ways you can sort of mitigate uh, how good they are as well so um, yeah let's get into it um, so today we're going to be taking on um, Dr. Uh, Doctor Octopus because uh, he's actually someone that uh, in the comics uh, they do run into um, in the latest uh, series of comics without going into too many spoilers there um, yeah, Dr. Octopus is featured, so um, I thought we'd use him. I don't think I've uh, played against him on the camera before, so uh, here we go. So he's going to come in. We're, we're using a full team of four of the Brute Force characters, um, so we're going to be uh, coming in with uh, eight health uh, with old Doc Ock here, and uh, if you've not played against him before, he's got uh, uh, special rules here that say when a location has three crisis tokens, it is destroyed. So you actually sort of destroy the location completely, remove it from play. If Dr. Octopus is there, he moves clockwise. Any heroes uh, there move to an adjacent location of their choice. Uh, so you can go either way. Um, and uh, locations adjacent to destroyed ones are considered uh, adjacent to each other. Okay. Um, so you're narrowing the field down, I guess. Then it says here, deal one damage to each hero. This is his BAM effect. So if he, if he triggers a BAM, he deals a damage to each hero in Dr. Octopus's location and places a crisis token there. And I don't see anything here about placing master plan cards face down. So if he causes a KO, he's going to BAM again and uh, hit each hero in, in the location. So that could be quite nasty. Uh, we have the overflow effect here. If one or more uh, thugs or civilians or the other way around. Can't be added to a location, add a crisis token to the location. So he's uh, placing crisis tokens f for a BAM. He's also placing crisis tokens for overflow. And if the location has three crisis tokens, it's destroyed. <coughs> now, um, excuse me. Let's see. Uh, the heroes lose if four or more locations are destroyed. And I don't see anywhere here about... Um, Anyway, you can remove those crisis tokens. So I guess it's a real race against time with this uh, this guy. So we'll pop that down there. Uh, we're playing with the normal mission, so we've got to um, complete one of these objectives, one of these missions here, either clearing uh, four of the threats, rescuing um, uh, nine of the civilians, or defeating nine of the thug tokens. Um, to put him under pressure, uh, and that will mean he's actually going to be going faster every two turns rather than every three hero turns. Uh, but if we can complete two of the missions, then uh, we're going to be uh, able to uh, hurt him, or he, he becomes vulnerable, and we can start targeting him with damage. And if we do manage to clear all three missions, which I usually don't, because um, by then it's usually like, uh, you know, <laughs> life or death, you've got to take him out real quick. But if you do uh, complete the extra mission, uh, you do get, uh, everyone gets to draw a card, so, uh, yeah, there we go, so, we'll pop his health on here, uh, let's quickly go around the board and have a look, I've just sort of put out some locations, I figured, uh, in the comics, they kind of live in this underground bunker underneath, like, a quiet, uh, suburban street in California, so this is Queens, but this art here on this card is probably the closest I could get, so we've got Queens, we've got, uh, Warrior Falls, Savage Land, um, uh, not quite as wild, but Central Park, you know, <laughs> I guess it's debatable, maybe it is. Um, we've also got Hangar Bay, because I think they have like a jet or something that they fly around in. Uh, and then I figured uh, Doc Ock can be hanging out in a shady uh, lab over there with the Weapon X facility. Uh, his threats that he brings, he's got, uh, I think he's got three henchmen. So he's got, um, who's this? Sandman. He's, uh, so Sandman comes with four health, but... Uh, he gains a health every time a BAM is triggered, 
and he also deals the damage to each hero in this location. So that's what he does. We also have up here uh, each, so this is endanger civilian, so we've got, I think there are three of these, um, and this is each civilian in this location requires one extra um, uh, heroic to be rescued, so unless you can clear this threat with heroic tokens, it's going to be hard to uh, rescue the civilians. I guess he's sort of like uh, capturing them all uh, with his, his tentacles and getting in the way there. Uh, over here we have Mysterio. Uh, he's got only the three health, but he's, uh, his BAM is that he deals the damage to one hero in this location and he adds a civilian and a thug to the location. So there's going to be a lot of overflowing happening here if we don't deal with him. And the last one, who have we got here? Vulture. He's got four health. He's got a BAM. Deal a damage to one hero in this location, then move this card to the first clockwise location without a threat, so he sort of travels around. So there you go. Um, so that's that's what we're up against with the villains. We'll put the little health, is that four? Yeah, we'll put that health on there. Um, let's have a look at the uh, the team of the hour, that is Brute Force. So here we go, we've got uh, Lionheart here. <laughs> Apologies for the models, they're <laughs> just using some... Uh, little models uh, from the, the uh, my kids' collection. So this is Lionheart the Lion. Now, <laughs> poor old Reckless. He's supposed to be a grizzly bear, but uh, what we've got <laughs> is a polar bear, but uh, that's the closest I could get. We have Dr. Echo, or Surf Streak. Uh, this is, yeah, he's a dolphin, that's right. I don't know how he gets around. Well, he's got this suit that sort of like has limbs on it he can get around in. Uh, now... <laughs> Believe it or not, this is even worse than the uh, the polar bear. This is <laughs> supposed to be the kangaroo, so <laughs> it's the closest I could get. He kind of is in a kangaroo style pose here. He's just in disguise. That's all. Yeah, master of disguise. Um, and <laughs> this one was going to be pretty bad, but I think that I think that one takes the cake. But uh, this is supposed to be an eagle too. So <laughs> this is uh, Saw, the eagle. Oh, and I forgot the kangaroo is Boomer or Hip Hop. Sometimes he's called uh, Hip Hop as well. So pop those guys down there that's our team now in fact we've got a team of four and saw here is actually going to be a pet companion so we'll be using the pet companion rules as well all right um, now if we have a look here with our decks um, what I've done is I've taken out the uh, double wilds because I have chosen to play with vehicle mode so if we have a look at the modes for brute force so brute force come with the um, the homebrew files come with uh, these sort of mission cards and uh, we'll have a look at this first so vehicle mode so with vehicle mode um, each brute force hero has a special effect um, card in their deck um, with the keyword vehicle mode um, so if you don't want to use these if you prefer a greater challenge in your game simply treat the special effect boxes on these cards as blank so they're just essentially just a regular card with whatever symbols they have on the bottom um, but if you want to play with vehicle mode you then just basically uh, use those special effects on the cards okay and they essentially are they're all like as long as this card is face up in the storyline you get this ongoing effect so that's that's what the vehicle modes do um, you essentially sort of use your cybernetic suits to transform into this vehicle uh, that zooms around um, and then the other thing it says here is uh, another way to sort of alter the difficulty is you could just remove one or both of the uh, heroes wild cards so we are going to use the uh, the vehicles um, but we are going to take out the double wilds for this game now if you're using Voltron mode you also get uh, the Voltron challenge if you want to you don't have to use it if even if you're using the vehicles but this allows you to um, if you're using all four of the heroes uh, as soon as all four vehicle cards are down um, on the storyline, you essentially form Voltron. So you replace the last hero to place one of those cards down with a um, with the Voltron model. So uh, today we're going to use if if it happens, uh, we'll see if it does. Uh, but uh, it's pretty random uh, whether it happens or not. So, uh, but if we do, we're going to use the um, the Sentinel model. So. Uh, Hopefully, hopefully some uh, some three D sculptors out there might uh, you know uh, see brute force and think oh they're they're prime for some uh, for some models so maybe we'll make some chibi models of these guys <laughs> who knows um, but that's what we're using in the meantime so yeah we form Voltron uh, if you've got all the vehicle cards down in the storyline 
um, and then essentially what that does is then all players now share the Voltron model so all the other models get removed from the board and, and Voltron stays there and then you all still keep taking your turns so players continue uh, to use their own deck of hero cards and the order of player turns is unaffected so you just keep playing playing cards um, but you're all just sharing the one model um, and uh, the, the, the big effect is that all of the special effects uh, of all vehicle mode cards in the storyline uh, affect each player's turn, so you get all of the, all of the combined effects. Um, now, there is a way to break up Voltron, and that's if any vehicle mode uh, card is turned face down or removed from the storyline for any reason, um, then immediately replace all the Voltron, um, well, replace the Voltron model with all the, the brute force ones, and they're back to, back to normal again. Uh, continuing though, uh, while in Voltron mode, all heroes are considered separate targets. So even though they're the one big model, if a target is targeting one hero in a location, for example, and, and it targets Voltron, then only one of the heroes in that um, Voltron form gets hit. Whereas if it's targeting all heroes in a location, then all the separate animals uh, are going to get hit, uh, even though they're in uh, Voltron form. So that's uh, explained here. Um, and uh, they're not considered to be um, alone in their location. So, so I think some villains and things like that have, have cards that sort of um, trigger off whether things are alone in a location. So that's not the case. Um, and then if a hero... So here's the... There's a couple of big things that make Voltron a bit of a liability, even though it sounds very powerful, and, and it is. Uh, but if, uh, if all the heroes are KO'd, uh, in Voltron mode, then the heroes just instantly lose it, like it's an extra loss of, uh, loss condition. Um, but otherwise, if a single hero is KO'd in uh, Voltron mode, uh, you lie them down individually next to your deck to remind you that they're actually KO'd, um, and that that particular character is ignored for effects and things like that uh, going forward until they wake back up. Um, so you don't actually lie the whole Voltron model down, only individual parts of him sort of get knocked out essentially. Uh, so I think that sort of explains everything there. Um, don't think I'm forgetting anything else. Um, no. I'm sure if things come up, we'll, we'll deal with it as, uh, as that happens. So we'll pop that down there. Um, and I think we're just about ready to go. All right, well, let's get into it. So we've got our henchmen, we've got our uh, other threat locations, and our uh, car. Oh, that's the, other, uh, the only other thing was with the, I didn't explain, pet uh, companion. So what I've done is... Um, within this deck, I want to be careful not to to peek because I'm not sure what the in the like what the intention is with the pet um, companions so far. But essentially, what you do is you shuffle them into one of the heroes' decks, and that that hero is the one that has the companion. Uh, so I've chosen to put Saw in with the uh, the leader of the team, um, Lion. Is it Lionheart? Braveheart? I can't forget. <laughs> uh, I think it's Lionheart um, uh, in in his deck, but um, because they have different card backs, you'll sort of know if, if he's coming up. So, um, I mean, obviously there's not much you can do about it if it's the top one sitting on top sort of thing, but I figure I don't want to look through this too much, uh, just in case I sort of, like, I can say, oh, all these cards are in the top half or, you know, they're a spread or whatever. So I'm not sure if you're supposed to have that extra information. So, um, yeah, anyway, so essentially the, the pet companions go inside one of the, the decks gives you extra cards essentially for that hero um, and when you draw that particular card in your hand you can choose to play that as a normal as far as I'm aware it's a, it's a normal hero card your hero activates off the actions that are on it and that sort of thing as well but the special actions on that card will probably leverage the um, the model of the actual pet rather than your character so your character uses all the basic actions but the pet will probably use the special effects, and um, each turn pet companions can move uh, once for free um, during each of the, the turns of the actual hero who's who's uh, controlling that pet. Um, but as you'll see with Saw, just so you know what, what I'm doing when I'm doing it, if I forget to explain it, Saw, his special, one of his special rules is that he gets to move twice. Uh, in each of the hero's turns if his card is being played. So if it's the normal hero turn uh, for Lionheart, he'll move once, but if I play a Saw card, he'll be able to move twice. So there we go. All right, well, we've got our team set up. I apologize with the lighting. Uh, these You probably can't see these very well over here, but I'll make sure to show them up in front of the screen as we, as we play them. All right, and now let's get stuck in. Okay, so 
Dr. Octopus. All right, let's see if he's going to wreck our fun straight away and <laughs> cause a cascade of terrible things to happen. All right. Uh, so he's moving twice. We'll just have a look at that there. You can see that. Hold that up in front of you. And it looks like there's a bam. So let's, have, let's walk through it. So he's going to move twice clockwise. One, two. There's no landing effect. Then he's going to bam. His bam is deal the damage to each hero in this location, and he places the crisis token there. Problematic. All right. Oh my goodness. Um, ooh. Um, then we go through the bam. So here we, ooh gosh, here we deal a damage to a hero uh, in this location. Doesn't happen, but he does place a um, thug and a civilian. In the location. Now I know when you do the normal placement, it says you know there's a rule in the rulebook that says always use uh, uh, always put the thugs down first. I'm not sure here it says add civilian and thug to this location because that specifically is like in a sentence like that and it's saying civilian first. I'm wondering if I'm it doesn't really matter, but I guess you know if, if the situation was like this, I'd only be putting one in. So I'm just not sure whether that's correct or not, but uh, we'll play with it as it is. So that's done. And then we keep coming around, deal a damage to one hero in this location. So, oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to uh, draw the starting hands. One, two, three, it's three. So, oh, well, there you go. So, you can see here we know that um, Saw is uh, going to be coming up in Lionheart's turn because his first three cards are his cards, and then we can see that that's going to be a Saw card there. So, we've got, what have we got here? We've got a uh, punch and a uh, heroic. We've got another. Uh, heroic and we've got a special card here this is one where he he sort of deals out tokens to all of his friends and that gives him a heroic as well okay so um, we've got to lose a card for one of these guys let's draw one two three oh here's a vehicle card so you can see that's a vehicle card you can see it's got the vehicle mode um, keyword there uh, and it says as long as this card is face up in the storyline once per turn you can move to an adjacent location so that's like an ongoing effect for Dr. Echo that will make him speedy as he's speeding around his little race car we've got a couple of uh, well it's had a movement and a heroic and we've got a punch there as well so we've got that going on um, okay we have one two three uh, three three four boomer the kangaroo um, We've got a move and a heroic. We've got Ain't No Kangaroo Jack, which is like a bunch of movement and punches, but you've got to do them in a specific order. And we've got an extra movement there. And then we've got the punch. So that's uh, what Boomer's bringing to the table. One, two, three, four, Reckless. Uh, we've got, what's that, a move and a star. Okay. Uh, we've got, oh, we've got a wild. So we didn't take all the wilds out, we just took the double wilds out. And um, which one did I show? I think I think I showed the move and star. This looks like a move and punch. There we go. <coughs> All right. So one of these guys has to take a hit from Vulture. Well, let's have a look. Mm, if I take Reckless, might get hit twice because he's not going to get a turn. So maybe that's not. Otherwise, he's pretty tough. He might be a good candidate. But should we get rid of Boomer's? Punch, and you can maybe get that back later. Should we get rid of Dr. Echo's punch? Hmm. Hmm. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? Uh, yeah, maybe let's get rid of Boomer's punch. I don't know. Yeah. All right. So Boomer's taken a hit. Now, um, we go around, keep coming around. Uh, Sandman gains a health, so he gains health. Oops, over here. And he's going to deal the damage to here in that location, doesn't do anything. Come back around, so that's all done. But then he's gonna place uh, tokens, and this is where it gets a bit problematic. So we've got two coming down here. <coughs> Excuse me, uh, we've got one going here. Unfortunately, that's going to cause an overflow, which means, yeah, we get another one here. So that's already two there, and if it gets a third one, and this guy's going to be adding two, that's really scary. Um, 
That's not good. Uh, we also have two more over here, and that's going to cause an overflow here because we only can fit one. Boy, oh boy. Mm. Now, this says then move the, this card to the first clockwise location without a threat, but that's not a thing at the moment, so... Rightio. Uh, so, let's pop that down in the starting spot. We'll pop these over here. Uh, and we'll see what the turn brings us. So we've got a round with um, three of the heroes. I think we've done everything right. Have we got? Have we got, forgotten anything? Don't think so. All right. Ooh, just a bird. Just a bird. Uh, this is where he gets really angry. Uh, so um, he can basically double punch in his location. Now I don't think the uh, the the, com the companions are. A hero as such so they can't be targeted by attacks and things like that as well so we've got to think about that so we've got a movement and essentially this is going to allow us to move and punch twice with uh, sore which is interesting um, it's, it certainly is um, so we could combo this together with um, one of the other two heroes, although we did just get rid of a punch there, didn't we? That's interesting. Um, that might not be bad. What do we got here? We've got a um, we've got this brute force attack, a brute force attack, which is going to give us a lot of tokens for the other heroes, and will allow us to play a heroic in this location. So we could rescue a civilian and then get stuck straight into um, uh, attack, uh, you know, get straight uh, into giving other things to other characters. But I like the idea of trying out Saw. So um, this is my first time actually playing with the the, um, the new card with the, the pet companion. So here we go. So I think we'll do this. So now Saw would normally, I'd get to move Saw once. But I can move Saw in uh, two, I can move him twice this turn. Um, so what I might do, hmm, uh, Brute Force Attack is a good card too, but let's maybe save that for down the track. Let's use this move, and that's going to let other characters move ne with their next action too. So let's, let's play this down. So I think what we'll do, um, now is Lionheart, where's Lionheart going to go? What are you going to do, buddy? Hmm. Maybe Lionheart's going to head over this way. Maybe, so he's going to use, so Lionheart uses the movement. That's how that works. But then Saw gets to move twice, and he also gets to punch twice in his location. So we're going to move Saw to this location. We'll punch twice to take two health off Mysterio. Um because I really don't like him dropping that many civilians and bits and pieces there, so we'll do that. Uh, that's good, we'll pop them in there. Then he can move again, um, so I think I might just send him over this way just for now. Interestingly, I wonder what happens to a pet companion that is in a location that gets destroyed, because henchmen and tokens get taken off, so maybe the pet companion gets lost if the location is destroyed. So this could be a bit dangerous leaving him over here, especially considering how full this is as well. Huh. We could lose Saw, but we'll see how we go. <laughs> we'll have to get some clarification uh, from Andrea and the team about how these pet locations work as well in terms of, or pet companions work in, in terms of uh, when locations are destroyed. Okay. Um, mm hmm. Whose turn is it? Is it um, Dr. Echo? So Dr. Echo's got a move and a punch. He's also got, oh, he's got a heroic. Interesting. He's got vehicle mode, that's interesting too. Ah, uh, see, so we've got move and punch. See, move and punch would be really handy for um, going in and dealing with, uh, with Mysterio there. I would like to get that race car out because the quicker we can get all the, the vehicle mode cards out, the more we can use them each turn, plus uh, we can form Voltron it once they all get out. 
So that's interesting. Let's have a look at what Boomer's bringing to the table. Ah, okay, so Boomer does have some punching power, so we don't need to give Boomer the punch, or we don't need to finish off Mysterio with, um, with Dr. Echo. So we could afford to do a turn like this. However, I guess the thing is, uh, if we did take out Mysterio with Dr. Um, Dr. Echo, we could be ending our turn in this location and getting whatever effect that gives us too. But we'll, we'll, we'll do the race car. Let's, the purpose is to show off the, all the different features, <laughs> so let's do it. Uh, let's get the vehicle mode out and hopefully we can do some Voltron stuff at the end. So, zoom, zoom, um, go speed racer. All right, well, who's it? Dolphin Man. All right, here we go. <laughs> so, he's going to move with um, uh, the, with, uh, who's it? Lionheart's movement or Saw's movement there. So, he's going to come over this way. Um, or is he going to go this way? If he's not working on this, does he need to go this way? Hmm. You know what? Yes, let's do it because we don't want this overflowing. So let's get rid of a... Um, it's almost like we should sort of give up on this one, right? Because this one's kind of gone, but we'll see how we go. Uh, we'll rest... Oh, sorry. Almost. What am I doing? I'll put him over here. We'll rescue this civilian. Okay. Uh, and then we can... We've moved. We've used our star. But now this says as long as we have um, this card face up, we can uh, move to an adjacent location. So what we could do is we could head over this way to start working on these guys, considering that we're probably gonna deal with this soon, I'd say. So let's do that. Let's have, um, yeah, we've played our turn there, that's good. And let's have old uh, Boomer. So Boomer's got a punch and a star. Now the punch and the star isn't gonna be, I mean, it would be handy for attacking uh, Vulture here. But I think, um, and we've got a, we'd have another star here for dealing with this, but I think I want to do this. Right. I think we want to do Ain't No Kangaroo Jack, because we've got to deal with this. All right, so let's see. Um, we're going to play this. This is going to give us a movement and a star, but then we get to move, punch, move, punch. All right, so. We also, how are we going to do this? Um, Hmm. Right, move, punch, move, punch. Which one do we want to target? We get, we're going to get to do two punches. Whew. Am I going to try and rescue here, or rescue here, or rescue over here? Let's rescue over here. All right. So, let's go, mm, let's, let's have a think about this. Are we going to end up where we need to be? Um, if, I, if I play this, if I go, where am I, kangaroo? If I go this one here, move, punch, get rid of, the, gets rid of this guy, uh, move, and I can punch again, so I can maybe punch one of these guys. And then I get this movement and a star. So I could either star here or I could step in here and star. Um, but I think that works either way. Yep, so let's do it. So let's play this down. We're going to move in. We're going to, no, hold on. We're moving, punching. So we're triggering this first one here that says we have to move, punch, move, punch in that order. So we're gonna move in. Punch Mysterio, <coughs> excuse me, um, that clears a threat, uh, and it also lets us, uh, we get to move again, then we will punch this threat here, this thug, then we will, um, let's punch uh, sorry, let's rescue that civil. Oh, hold on now. This is going to... Oh, well, here we go. This this answers the question. So, ooh, uh, oh, do we want to put a star down there? Uh-huh. Interesting. We could rescue over here. 
is this is only going to require one, one heroic to rescue here. Or we could place a star on here, making this a bit easier to start rescuing. Maybe let's place the star down while we can. So we'll play that, that's where we're playing the star. Then sort of moved, punched, moved, punched, uh, then we're star, and then we move here for the last movement with the card there, and then that's going to give us a token. And I think, um, I think maybe let's take a punch token. Hmm. What do, I think Boomer's got a bit of a mix of punches and stars. So maybe. Yeah, maybe let's take a punch we could maybe, because uh, maybe Vulture might jump in here or something like that too, so let's have a punch we could use. Okay, and that's given us the three turns. I think we're done. Yep, you may gain a token, yep, all right. So, interesting. Mr, uh, what is he, Mr... Dr. Octopus, <laughs> Mr. Sorry, my apologies, Doctor. You <laughs> did all that, did all that studying. He doesn't want to be called Mr. Octopus. All right, so um, I think we're good there. Just trying to keep track of everything, make sure I'm not showing the rules wrong. Uh, yep, that's pretty good. Okay, so uh, Dr. Octopus, what's he going to do? He's moving one. Interesting. Moving one. Uh, he's bamming, so he's going to move in. Oh no, we should have rescued over here. We're going to lose this location. Uh, painful. All right, so he's moving one. He's bamming, so we're going to take a hit on old uh, Mr. Bear Man. Maybe let's lose the single wild uh, because that is a single. And we've got two relatively good cards here that we don't want to lose. So maybe let's do that. Let's have a uh, punch, uh, buh, 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 buh. so he's done that, and he places a crisis token down, yikes. Then he's going to, then we're going to go around here, so he's going to, ooh, he's going to deal damage to a hero in this location too, Vulture, so, oh no. Um, what's old Mr. Reckless going to do? Um, maybe we'll save the star, because we're going to do some rescuing. All right. Uh, so we'll, we'll keep that card for Reckless, then um, then he's going to move to the next location clockwise, the only one is this one, so he's going to come around here, okay, now, oh, interesting, hmm, does this travel with him? I don't know, I guess so. Um, all right, now, uh, right, and then he puts two things down, so two in this spot, <gasps> gosh, so close to overflowing everywhere, this is not good, now one here, and unfortunately this gets destroyed, so what, what happens again, so, um, is destroyed. Remove it from play. If Dr. Octopus is there, which he's not, we don't have to worry about that. Any heroes there must move to an adjacent location of their choice. Uh, right. Let's maybe move here. Okay. Right. Yeah, okay. Um, then it's destroyed. Alright, so I wonder what, so I think Vulture just got caught in the, uh, in the, uh, collateral damage here, but, bingo, I'm not sure if that counts as me clearing this threat, I don't think it does, um, so now there's less threats for me to, to clear, so put that there. We might have to work on both of these. We might not be able to clear this if these get destroyed. I mean, if they get destroyed that quickly, we've lost the game, right? Um, okay, I think they get lost as well. <coughs> I could be getting that wrong. Maybe we're supposed to get the threat, but I feel like you shouldn't get rewarded for losing the, the location. So I feel like that's a lost opportunity for us to clear that threat of Vulture now.
Um, feeling good that I didn't punch Vulture now. All right, waste a, a punch on him. Okay, but that's not, not feeling good that we've lost a location already. Leech. Okay, so. Um, let's get back to it. I think it's uh, Reckless. Now, Reckless has only got uh, two cards in hand. Let's have a look at what he's, what he's bringing to the party here. So he needs to get cracking. Now, we know that these are adjacent, aren't they? We've got a movement here and we've got a... So we could move and punch and try and stop these places from overflowing. Or we could uh, move and put a star down and help. I think we've got to put these stars down so these places can get cleared a bit quicker. So let's maybe do that. Where's... Uh, and see, Lionheart is over here. So if I put this down, maybe let's go this way instead of going that way. Maybe let's go, who is this, the bear? He's gonna, oh, I'm gonna clear this too though. Uh, one, he's gonna put a star down. <coughs> Hopefully we have enough stars to actually start rescuing these guys once we clear these. Um, yeah, that's cool. Um, and then, that's his turn I think. Yeah, he's just moved. Now he could move again. And that actually might be worth it. That might be worth it. Yep. So I can get a start over here. Um, mm, yep. Whose turn? Mr. Mr. Uh, Lionheart. Okay, he gets to draw a card. So now is where we might play this um, brute force attack card because. Mm, I could play this and rescue, uh, defeat another thug. If I play this, I'm giving everybody tokens. So I think I'm going to do this one. Uh, so we've got a move and two stars. So we'll use the two stars here. Oh, I don't think I'm going to move. I haven't been injured. Oh, hold on a second. I just, I forgot to, Mr. Bear, instead of moving this way, he had that move, didn't he? So the bear's going to move here. And this is going to let him heal a card, so he's going to have one more card. All right, there we go. <laughs> a single, single heroic. There we go. All right. So, um, so what did we do? We cleared this. That is another threat cleared. Um, we've spent that heroic. Now I think what we're not going. So we've we've done the two heroics to finish that off, but we're not going to move because that's going to let me punch a thug. Here might not be enough because he seems to drop two around him, doesn't he? But like, oops, oh, I keep doing that. <laughs> I wonder how many thugs I've put in there and how many uh, civilians I've done that to. But yeah, we're going to punch there just so we can uh, get cracking on these missions too. All right, so um, that's also going to let us give a. And I probably should have actually given these out first before uh, triggering this end of turn thing too, but. <coughs> so we can give movement, stars, and uh, punches to anyone. So let's give, um, let's give everybody, where are we, what do we want to do? Um, let's give Reckless a movement, because he's not very maneuverable. Let's give a Ooh, let's give stars maybe at this stage because we want to rescue a bunch of guys and maybe clear those threats and stuff. Let's maybe give who have we got coming up next? Surf Streak. Dr. Echo, is that right? One, two. Yeah. So let's give him a heroic because he probably wants to start clearing this. Um, let's give. Uh, well, Boomer's already got a punch, so let's give Boomer a while, uh, sorry, a heroic as well. Ooh, wouldn't that be good? Give them, give them some wilds. All right, so there we go. Uh, yeah, to each other hero. Yeah, you don't give one to uh, Lionheart when you do that. Okay, and speaking of Surf Streak here, or I keep saying Surf Streak, I should have called him Surf Streak on the card, because that seems to be how I'm thinking about him. Um, ooh, a sound strategy. This could be good. Um, ooh, interesting. Another hero can swap one card from their hand with one of their cards in the storyline. Again, I'm not sure if this means can 
Lionheart pick up Saw's card, or because Saw isn't actually his card, he's not allowed to uh, pick that up. That's an interesting one. So this is uh, one of those ones where you can yeah swap a hand, swap a card from in your hand with a card in the storyline. Um, but it's another hero. It lets them do that. And uh, the other thing is you could give a uh, a hero one wild token from the pool. <laughs> actually, I just <laughs> I think I just said wouldn't it be nice if we could give them some wilds? So we could do that. Um, or we could simply do this um, move and punch or move and heroic because we do have a heroic here. See, this is um, this is giving us a punch, whereas if we use this one, we're clearing this location here, meaning we can rescue these civilians a bit easier. The only thing is we're not actually rescuing any civilians at this stage. Oof, okay. Let's do it anyway. All right, so we're going to... We can move, we can move twice essentially because we've got this movement plus we've got our race car effect. But, <coughs> but I think what we'll do, we'll clear that with the two heroics. So one from um, Dr. Echo there and one uh, from his card. And that's cleared. All right, we're getting rid of these uh, endangered civilians, making sure they're safe. This gets taken care of. Now Now we really need to work on this um, so we don't put him under pressure too soon. You may move up to two civilians or thugs in any combination from this location to any other location. Oof. Oof. I don't really think I want to do that. No. Nope. Okay. So Doc Ock. What's old Doc Ock going to do? Mm-hmm. We have a move one. Oh, he's coming for Lionheart. He's going to do a bam, so we're losing one health for Lionheart. Uh, maybe let's lose this single heroic here. Uh, pop that under there. Um, now he is going to put a crisis token down. He's putting, ooh, another crisis token down over here because he's about to, I've got any more bams actually? Oh yeah, we do. I think he banned last turn, didn't he? Bam, bam. So, Sandman, I think. I forgot to put health on him. Let's put two health on him now. Um, one, two. So I think I, yeah, I think I missed that last turn. My goodness. That's a lot of health, Mr. Sandman. Um, so. Mm -mm 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 Uh, yep, 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 yep. So that we get the bams. He got hit. He went around, he got hit. He put the thing down. Then we're placing tokens out. So, we put another one here because we were supposed to put two there. So that's another crisis token. We've got, ooh, we've got another one here because this is a, this gets two. Can't get the extra one, so it gets a crisis token. Not good. And, um... Holy moly, this is not good. And then we get one here. Oh, goodness. My goodness. He is racing these things. All right, so. Whoo, Nelly. Um, yowza. Uh, whose turn is it? Boomer's turn? Where's Boomer? Boomer's over here, hanging out over here. All right. Um, Boomer. Oh, we've got a bunch of tokens. That's handy. That is handy, handy, dandy. All right, so we've got a movement. We've got a, uh, so we've got a punch. What is this one we could heal, because I need healing here, right? Hmm. No, let's, let's move. So what do we need? We've got movement over here. So let's, um, which one are we working on more? We're working on the civil, the uh, thugs, I guess, a bit more, aren't we? One, two, where are they? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think there's nine of them, so there's enough for them. Civilians, I've got a feeling civilians would be enough to complete them too. But I'm just thinking, which one do we want? We probably don't need extra movement. We probably only need the, the one because I, I sort of want to end up here. So let's just really hammer this location. 
or this pair of locations. So we have a movement, we have two stars, we have a punch, and we have these two other ones. So we're going to definitely end up over here. This is going to allow us to do at least one punch here. So therefore, um, I think what I want to do is we've got two, three stars. So let's go one, two, um, one, two, three. Then, so that's the three stars used. One, two, plus the token I had. Then we've got two punches. Let's use this punch. Let's use this, so punch over here, before we hopped over. And then, because we ended in this location, we can, we can punch in this location and we'll take another one out. That's pretty good. All right, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. Ooh, I'm happy with that. All right, so what? <coughs> Excuse me, what is the old Mr. Bear going to do? Well, Mr. Bear, you might, uh, well, let's see what card you draw. Oh, I just uh, got a glimpse of that. That's, I think, pretty good. If it is what I think it is, it is too. It's the tank. Ah, uh, okay. Tank, tank, tank. Oh, oh no. Oh, bummer. If only I had... Oh, yes! <laughs> I took the movement. Yes. I was going to say, oh, I'm going to... I really want to play this tank card, but with two punches and a star, all he would be doing is rescuing one <laughs> civilian there um, in his turn to get the benefit of this card. And I was like, ah, no, that's a difficult decision, but it's not so difficult if you can move. So that's what we're going to do. We, we, we were given some orders by... Um, uh, Lionheart, there he told us to attack, so that's what we're going to do. So we're going to put, uh, we're going to uh, transform and roll out. Here we go. <laughs> um, so <laughs> it's no IP infringement there. Um, so, ooh, okay, it'd be cool to punch this guy, but I think we've cleared this down a little bit, so we don't have to, let, let's, let's start going this way. So we're going to go, um, what are we doing? We're using our movement token to, sorry, we were over here, using our movement token to move into uh, Saw and um, Dr. Echo's location. Um, we're going to then, we've got two punches. So again, it's not as, you know, but at least we can do two. So we can rescue one because that um, location threat is not there anymore. We can punch one of the thugs, that's not too bad. And uh, now Reckless has that ability to uh, ignore one damage each turn, so that's pretty good. And how many vehicles, we've got one, two vehicles down. All right, we need the other two vehicles out soon if we can. <laughs> That'd be great. Um, okay, what are we doing? Oh, you know what I forgot to do as well? In Lionheart's had a couple of turns, so he's had this one, or he's had one extra turn. So what we can do is Saw would have been able to move one. So let's just say, let's just move Saw over here. Um, just so, uh, again, I'm not sure how this works, but hopefully he won't um, get blasted if the location disappears sort of thing. So that's that. All right, Mr. Saw, you flew over there. We've played two cards. Now we have one more, and that is, ah, speaking of Saw, I think it's Lionheart's turn. So we draw a card. Oh. Whoa, it's all, <laughs> everything's coming up, Dan. All right, so we just said we wanted some vehicles. So now who are we waiting on? Who's the slow coach? Oh, the speediest guy in the team is the slow coach. All right, all right, Boomer, you better have some cards in there. All right, well, you got cards, but you better have some vehicle cards. Um, oh, this would be good if we can get Voltron in the... Um, What's for, is it inaugural? Uh, the, the very first, the debut of the um, Brute Force um, on YouTube. This would be cool if, if they could form Voltron. Um, what have we got? We've got, um, uh, now is it the best card to play though? Is it the best card to play? We've got a moving punch. We've got a move, oh it's just a move. And we've got a punch and a star. See, that'd be good for 
working on this, but I think we've got to get these vehicles out. Like we're, we've been gifted these vehicles, let's take advantage of them. And as you can see, by the way, the, uh, with these vehicles, if you were choosing not to play with vehicles, if you think, oh, that just makes the game too easy, uh, and you want more of a challenge, this would just be a single movement card. And uh, for example, Dr. Echoes would be a uh, single heroic. Um, <clears throat> so lots of different ways you can use brute force. Let's play this down and, and let's make a decision and then decide what we're going to do with it. All right, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, so we can move. We can punch. Oh, and then, see, this card lets us, this card lets us, as long as it's in the storyline, we get a free punch action every turn. So, with, with uh, Lionheart at the moment. So, we can actually do two punches. So, where do we want to clear from? I guess we want to clear from here, right? Because this is down a little bit. So, let's go in, uh, punch these two. So, one with the uh, Reckless's card and one with his ability. That's two there. It does say an extra punch, yeah, punch action. Okay. Now, uh, but we haven't ended in here, so we don't get to punch this guy. Uh, and that is that, I believe. Who have we given movement to next? We've given Dr. Echo some movement as well. Not that he needs it, because he's a little race car guy. Um, okay. Okay. Oh, now this is interesting. This is interesting, because... Um, Yeah, this is interesting because now we've got these guys at one and we if we can clear one more threat, we can make him vulnerable. All right, but the problem is this guy's got a billion health. What's he got? Seven health? He's like a villain in himself. All right, we might have to target this. All righty then. Now it is... Dr. Octopus's turn. Yep. Ooh, he's going to move three. Where is he? I think he's going over to the bear and um, Dr. Echo there. So he's moving across. All right. Master Planner. Deal one damage to each hero in any locations Ooh. with crisis tokens. Then place a crisis token where he is. So he's going to... Well, uh, sorry, we have to do this first. So deal damage to each hero. So he's in a location, he's in a location. These two are both in a location, but so everyone's going to take a hit except for Reckless because he can ignore one damage per villain turn. Yeah, so Reckless ignores that, but we are going to take a hit with um, Dr. Echo. Um, okay, we'll lose a single punch. Um, Lionheart, what are you going to lose? Um, maybe let's lose. Ooh. Oh, what are we going to target? Just thinking we might need the star for this, right? Or do we want to just beat up this guy? Ugh, let's lose the move in the punch. Is that the best move? Or are we going to need that move and punch for later? You've got stars. Is there any stars? How many stars? Hmm. And um, I think the yeah, Boomer has to lose one, we'll lose this single movement. Ooh, we're all a bit low, so if we form Voltron, we're a bit vulnerable, aren't we? Yowza. Oh no, that could be, <laughs> this could be really bad, because if he hits us while we're like that, it is uh, not good. Maybe we need to end our turn over here. Um, and then he's, play yeah, we place an extra crisis token over here. Yikes, okay. Okay. <sighs> Hmm. All right, what have we got here? Got a move and a star. All right. Another hero can swap out a card. Get a wild type. Where are we? Um, maybe we just start, instead of worrying about clearing these two threats, maybe we just start rescuing and we can clear these two as our missions. Be alright. What if we give ourselves a move? 
Because hmm. if I end here, I can heal myself back up. Maybe let's do that. Alright. It's just so crazy it might work. Alright, so. Um, hmm, where do we want to rescue from? Maybe let's... Oh, sorry, wrong character. Maybe let's rescue from here. Actually, we've got enough movement. We could go one, two... Uh, the extra movement wouldn't land us where we want to be. <coughs> mm. Alright. In that case, let's go over here. And we'll rescue one of these guys. And that is going to place us at six rescued. One, two, three. Yep, we could move again, but I want to I want to end here so we can heal up. Ooh, that's handy. Dr. Echoes, uh, that lets us clear a threat pretty quickly too. Mmm, okay. Um, Boomer, where are you, buddy? Oh, the ATV. Ooh, is this the last card? Sorry, I didn't even show it, so <laughs> I got so excited. So this, I think, is the last... This is the last, um, hmm, yeah, this is the last card. So if I triggered this, we form Voltron. That could be good, could it? Why are we giving ourselves a star? Interesting. Hmm. All right, let's try it. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm thinking this through. Yeah, okay, so let's move. We won't, we won't take up any more of our movement. We'll just use that. Now, the good thing about this card is it would have let us, say, go here and trigger the end of turn effect. That's what it does. I'll hold that up again. I don't think I held it up long enough. Sorry, guys. Uh, it lets you sort of trigger the, move, the end of turn effect underneath the threat card, if you so choose. Um, and I'm not sure about what the official ruling with that is with those hazardous locations, but the intent uh, that I put into this one, because this was one of the one of the um, designs I um, put in to uh, the cards was um, that you don't have to trigger must <coughs> must um, activate effects because they're still under the card. And technically that doesn't trigger them. That, that's how I read that anyway. But uh, I don't know if that's the intent that Andrea had for that. But uh, for this one. Um, but that's not where I want to go though. I want to go over here. Because what I want to do is heal up with um, Boomer. Considering that we're now going to form Voltron. So what happens. I've played that card. So we've formed Voltron. In fact I shouldn't be drawing a card. I should be actually continuing the turn shouldn't I. So getting ahead of myself. Step in. Played the card. Now we form Voltron. So we remove all of the other brute force characters from the board. There we go. They are now. Um, we still have Saw though, um, because Saw is um, not a hero, so he's a pet companion. He stays out. Um, but we have uh, Voltron, and if, in fact, if you have a look at the, the card, <laughs> Saw's not included in in the picture there, as far as I can tell. So. Uh, there we go. So Saw is uh, still flying around, um, and now we continue our turn with uh, Boomer. So in fact, what actually happened was I played that card. I think Boomer was over here, wasn't he? Um, so we formed Voltron here. Now I can use the move, and I can move twice and play a star. So I think what I'm going to do is maybe even uh, let's rescue from this location. Um, Oh, I can do a few things here, can't I? Yeah, because I've got that extra punch. Oh, interesting. Uh, that would be putting him under pressure, though. I don't know if I want to do that. Hmm. Because I can... Oh, did I do some cheating over here where I was rescuing civilians? Uh, I don't think so. Maybe there were thugs over here. All right. Apologies if I did. Apologies, because they would have required two, two health to, to rescue. Not sure if I did that earlier. All right, so let's rescue this civilian. Now I've got to think about all these other things I've got now. So now this this character uh, can move once for free every turn. 
<laughs> plus his two movement here. Um, he can. Um, get a free punch, he can uh, reveal, you know, can trigger the things underneath there and uh, he uh, uh, blocks a hit each villain turn as well. So I think, uh, I think I still want to end up here, so rescued. Now I've got that extra punch, whoopsie daisy, sorry. Um, I've got that extra punch, but if I used it to take this guy out, he would then be under pressure. Mm. You know what we'll do though? Uh, we'll not rescue from this location. We'll. Oh no, he's going to take. He requires two, doesn't he? Do I have enough movement? Let's see. I could go one, two, and I could still step back in. So I'm actually going to rescue from over here. Does it matter? I think I want to be coming this way, so yeah, we'll do that. Uh, what happened there? Where did I rescue from? Um, now I'm all confused. Did I already rescue this guy? I can't remember. All right, sorry guys, I completely confused myself here. Um, I have no idea. I think I've already. I think I was only rescuing one. But I can't remember where I got him from. My goodness. Uh, okay. Well, let's just not say I can do that. But um, in terms of the punching... Hmm. Is it worth putting him under pressure now? What could we do if it's not? We're going to get a turn with Reckless. And Reckless can hopefully do some attacking and clear some things as well. Yeah, all right, let's, let's not punch. Okay, so, <coughs> excuse me, in, so in that case it's now, so we go here, um, Boomer is going to draw a card, so Boomer's got this one, Ain't No Kangaroo Jacks. Oh, that's pretty handy, that's pretty handy, let's, let's just bounce around and do some, do some damage. Um, but now it is Reckless's turn. So Reckless, you're going to draw a card. Oh, he's got Bear Hunt. Oh, but Bear Hunt doesn't help with our uh, thing, but it would help clear things down. But yeah, not super helpful in this particular situation, I think. We've got a, um, a star there. So we've been given a movement. We can either move, star and punch. Hmm. Well, let's do it this way. I think I think we're gonna. I think we want to do this. So let's um, let's move. Let's put a star. Um, let's use the star so we'll rescue this civilian here. Um, we will also use our free movement to come back here um, and. Before we do that, we'll use our free punch to take him out. So we have now made um, we have now made Doctor Octopus under pressure. Okay, and um, we've got that extra movement. I think so. Yeah, we had the movement, so we could have stepped in, punched, done the star, stepped back in. Okay, um, and that way uh, Reckless gets to draw a card at the end of the turn. If you have one or two cards in hand, you may draw a card. Yep. So we can't now sit there and buff ourselves up with Dr. Echo and Reckless, but it is going to just keep the team a little bit more alive um, so that hopefully we don't get taken out in Voltron mode. We'll, we'll see what Dr. Octopus has got to say about that because now it is his turn and he's going to be going every two turns now, but we need to rescue one civilian. Luckily, there's one here um, in order to make him vulnerable. So let's see how we go. We have, oh, he's moving five. Ooh, he's going over to where Saw is, I think. Oh, no, hold on. He's going back to where he is because there's now only... Oh, you know what? When he jumped three... 
I wonder if I put him in the right location. Uh, where was he? I think so. I think he still moves three because we've got um, we've got uh, fewer locations. But I think that's right. I think he must have been over here and he must have headed that way. Okay, so he's moving five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, back to his, back to the start. He's going to bam there. Oh, and he's going to destroy that location because he's putting a crisis token down there. So that destroys the location. Oh no! All right. <clears throat> so that is another location destroyed. What we should do is maybe put on this track here. How many have been destroyed by putting the crisis tokens down? So he's destroyed two locations. If he gets two more, we lose. So they go away. Uh, the board is getting smaller. Uh, Mr. Um, Mr. Sandman's getting another health. Um, Sword does not get attacked because he's not a hero. Um, hmm. Uh, okay. And then he's putting a bunch of tokens out. Uh-oh. SpaghettiOs. All right, so he's putting Thug, excuse me, uh, Thug and Civilian. Thug and Civilian. And, oh, no, where is he? He was here, right? Oh, hold on. So he was here. He gets moved to here clockwise because the location was destroyed. Then, yeah, so he puts two here, puts two here, and he's going to put two here. <coughs> and all of a sudden these places are full again. Oopsie. Mmm. Uh-oh, not oh, good. Alright. Not good at all. Okay. Let's make him vulnerable and hurt him. <laughs> okay, so oh, all we need to do to make him vulnerable is just do this. So I think it's Lionheart's turn, is that right? Uh, Lionheart, da, 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 Lionheart. One, two, three, Lionheart, one, two, three. It's a Lionheart. So Lionheart's only got the one card. But if we stay here, because we, that's what we want to do, I guess, because we want to beat him up, um, we can heal up with Lionheart. That's not bad. Um, so, oh, we drew a sword, did we? Was that sitting on top? Must have been. All right. Uh, oh, need a lift? <laughs> okay, so this gives us an attack. Uh, it allows Saw to move twice then move Saw to anyone here. So this, in this particular case, he doesn't really need a lift because he's already right here. But for example, if we wanted to, um, if we wanted to go beat up Sandman, we could fly around with Saw because he can move twice in his uh, turn. We'd be getting to attack and star with um, Lionheart and we could actually, once the Saw comes here, he could then move uh, Lionheart um, over to Sandman and use that attack on Sandman. But that's not what we're going to do here. In fact, are we even going to use this card? I think we might just use this one. A punch and... Um, yeah, we don't really need to use Saw's card there. Um, yeah, I wonder... I guess... Hmm. Let's just leave... Uh, let's bring Saw... He can move twice. Let's move him over here, where the action is. Um, Although there's two thingies there, let's maybe move him. He's probably safer there. <laughs> Even though I don't know if he actually gets destroyed, if the location is destroyed. Um, now, let's play this one. So we're going to get two heroics and we're going to get one attack, but we've got to remember that we have another attack up our sleeve as well because we get that free attack from uh, the cycle vehicle. So um, we're going to use our two heroics. There are two civilians here. So we're going to rescue those two. One goes towards the mission, the other is just uh, d sort of discarded now because that mission is complete. But what that does is that now makes him vulnerable, um, so which is handy. And then we're going to um, we're going to attack twice. So we get the one attack here, and we get the other. Um, uh, the other, the free attack from the card. So that's two damage taken from Dr. Octopus. <clears throat> this is an interesting one because Dr. Octopus, like, he, I guess it's, he's, he's ramping up very quickly, getting rid of these locations, but he's also making it easier for us to catch him in this end stage. So it's like, who can, who can finish their end game quicker, I guess? Um, so we don't need to worry too much about the other movement. We could have used some movements to get over here, maybe clear this down a little bit and that sort of thing, but I don't think I really... 
and too concerned about that. Um, I do, so I, I did two damage, uh, and that is, that is it. And at the end of Lionheart's turn, Lionheart gets to draw a card, which is what I wanted. <coughs> Excuse me. And, there you go. Um, uh, we've got another of those brute force attacks, so that could be handy. Uh, now, Dr. Echo, what master plan have you got for us, Dr. Echo? A bunch of heroics. That's not exactly what we needed uh, this turn. We needed to punch some people. Now this one's an interesting one. It uh, does say completely clear a threat um, in your location. So this is another way we could heal. We could step over here and clear one of these. Um, the henchmen are actually threats as well, um, but I'm not exactly sure the intention behind, uh, I don't know if it was Mateo, one of, uh, one of the other guys came up with this one in terms of did they intend for you to be able to sort of have a situation like Sandman where he's just building up a ton of health here and we could just step in and play this card and take him out. I'm not sure. I mean, that's a bit of an edge case because not many of them sort of um, uh, keep sort of building their health up like that. But um, yeah, so you could always choose to play this as it only affects the, you know, the, the, uh, the placement uh, threats instead of the, uh, the henchmen. Just thought that's an interesting side note there. Uh, we've got sound strategy, we've got a move and a punch. I don't really feel like with that, with our extra movement each turn and the shrinking board, hmm, I don't really feel like we need, and we've got Kangaroo Jack with his double punch, you know, move and punch, so I don't think we need a movement. So let's play this one instead. The sound strategy, I think we need a sound strategy against uh, Dr. Ock at this point in the game. It's going to give us a heroic, so what we can do is we can use our free... Uh, but our, Okay, if we use our free movement we can't step back, so I was going to say we could... Although, do we need to be standing there anymore? Dr. Uh, Ock, Dr. Um, Echo doesn't necessarily need to heal anymore, so I could... I could step this way at the end, couldn't I? Yeah. So let's punch twice, plus that uh, free punch. Let's hit him three times. One, two, three. So he was on eight to start with. We've done... It's on eight. I've only got... Uh, I must have done two damage to him. But I've only got five here, so I think I must have not put enough health on him to start with. So we've done two. One, two, three. So he should have actually one more, so I'm actually just going to leave that there. So he should have three health left, I think, if I'm not making a mistake there. And, um, all right, Brute Force, uh, it's your time to shine. That was pretty cool. So he's done the three damage, and I think we're going to move uh, with our free movement, and we're going to use this heroic here to uh, rescue. Mm-mm-mm. And, um, oh, oh yeah, there's no, nothing there. So we rescued there, made that a bit safer, and I think we're looking good now. And we get the free punch in this location at the end of the turn so we can punch out that thug there. All right, very cool. Now, he's under pressure though, so he's going again. And he's only got to take out two more locations and we are in strife. So he's moving clockwise. This is called Tentacles Grasp. Clockwise to the next location with any heroes. Uh-oh. Then he moves all heroes one location closer to Dr. Octopus, brings us in. <coughs> and then he bams. Okay. Um, he's not dropping anyone though, that's lucky, because I, I think we were... He's, he's closer to winning if he just keeps putting stuff out, right? But, um, luckily he's just bammed. And the good thing about Voltron mode is, if he's only dealing one damage to each hero, so this, this is going to hit every hero, but um, uh, now the, um, what is it, the brute force attack thing, uh, as long as this card is face up in the storyline, you ignore one damage every turn, and that's that affects the entire team, so they can all soak up one damage. That's where, um, you know, he's very, very powerful, very, very defensive there. Um, but if you get hit by something where you get hit twice, uh, you get a, a, a two hit or something like that, um, 
you know, you, you start to take the damage through there. So there we go. So we, we blocked that hit. We got lucky with that one. Okay. Uh, so, uh, yeah, as I said, he's very powerful, Voltron. Um, uh, and uh, I think it's particularly a good one to play with, like, kids and, and that sort of thing as well, where you sort of get to be really big and overpowered as well, which is pretty cool. Um, all right. But watch out for those uh, villains that do, like, the two hits, because then, then he's not he's not so tough. Um, okay, so... Uh, da, 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 da. I don't think there's anything else he's doing. He's not dropping anyone else down. So I think it's time for us to deal with him because he's only got the three health and he's and he's decided to, to stick with us. So uh, it is Kangaroo Jack's turn. So ain't no Kangaroo Jack, so he can go bounce. Now, uh, did I draw a card for him? I don't know if I did. I think I'm supposed to draw one more. Uh, he's got the attack and the star as well. What have we got over here? We've got an attack. Let's do this one. <laughs> this sounds fun. All right, so the kangaroo is going to finish him off with, um, we've got an attack. We've got a free attack as well, so that's two. And we can actually keep bouncing back and forth. So we can go one one movement, then attack, then one movement, then attack. So <laughs> he gets taken down uh, just with these, even without the free attack there. So Dr. Octopus, down he goes. Arr, take that. And uh, it kind of makes sense that um, I think hip-hop was... Uh, or, well, you know, uh, Boomer was uh, the avatar of um, Voltron there because he's kind of doing the, the uh, what is it, um, single ladies dance? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> is that how that goes? Oops. <laughs> um, <laughs> he's, he's got two left feet. Uh, but, um, yeah, we have defeated Dr. Octopus. Pretty good. Apologies if I, there was a couple of moments there where I think I'm not sure if I did some rescuing of civilians here that I shouldn't have. And the other one was I got a bit confused here, so I'm not sure if the, the placements <coughs> were 100% correct around here, but I don't think it made uh, a sizable difference because I, I got confused with it, like how many guys I'd rescued or where I'd rescued them from. Um, but uh, I think that get, gave you a pretty good indication of how they play. Um, so that was them without the double wilds. You can see how... Uh, that Voltron mode is pretty powerful, so if you had the double wilds in there, they'd be really OP, which is why I sort of um, kind of recommend, yeah, he, he's kind of, if you, it's a bit like Deadpool, right? If you want a bit of a zany thing, a bit of a joke game, sort of that sort of thing, uh, not too serious, then that's, that's great. Um, otherwise, maybe take out both uh, the wilds and the, like the single wild and the double wild. That's always an option. And like I said, you could choose to interpret some of those cards, like the um, the one where you clear a whole threat, like maybe that only affects the the star sort of ones and that sort of thing as well. So uh, yeah, so lots of different variability and, and different different ways to play with them. Uh, and hopefully you can see through their the range of their special effects and attacks and things like that as well, and the spread of their um, attack icons or not attack icons, but their action symbols. Um, how they function just as regular, like regular heroes. So if you don't use the vehicle mode, uh, then they've each got three special cards each, or three special attacks, or special effects, I should say. Um, and you don't have to worry about all the, the Voltron stuff either sort of thing. But this hopefully showed you the whole package and, and what you can do with them and and, um, and some of the intent behind them. So I hope that was fun. Um, yeah, Dr. Ock, he's, he was no match for, uh, although he was, he, was pretty, he was getting pretty close. There was a few places getting close there. Um, but no match for the the brute force, um, the champions of, of uh, champions of the animal kingdom. Um, but again, um, if you've got knowledge of the way the different villains and, and things work across the range of Marvel United as well, you'll probably notice some villains that would be um, able to sort of work around some of Voltron's um, uh, benefits and that sort of thing as well, uh, and some that uh, would be you know, particularly easy to defeat with Voltron, especially the ones I think that don't have a lot of ways of doing more than one damage in a turn. Um, so that's that's just a caveat, something to be aware of um, when you're choosing your games. If you if you um, care about uh, you know the difficulty of of of, uh, of the game and you really want a big challenge, um, just bear that in mind too. So yeah, well, thank you guys. Um, yeah, lots of uh, lots of homebrew stuff still going on. Uh, yeah, lots of so many videos I want to I want to do so many games and uh, villain designs and hero designs that I want to show off, but it's just not enough time. So I'll work on it eventually. We'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. But uh, you know, Street Fighter stuff and 
uh, more of the Marvel stuff from uh, Age of Apocalypse and uh, Kanji Studios, his uh, Brotherhood, and he's just starting on uh, the Acolytes. He's done some really cool individual ones. He's done like Silver Surfer and the Punisher in particular. I really want to film a, a Punisher battle as well. I know we've done a Punisher by Scud O, uh, which was a lot of fun back in the day. Um, and Kanji Studio Studios has come up with another design for Punisher where instead of uh, you trying to stop him from hunting down criminals and, uh, and murdering them basically, uh, he's actually coming after you and you basically have to survive. So uh, that's pretty fun as well. Um, lots of One Piece United, Marvel, uh, not Marvel, um, My Hero Academia, all that stuff as well um, that, uh, that I want to show off as well. So uh, we'll get there. But uh, the other big news, I guess, is um, that uh, the we're really starting to fill out the wiki or at least I'm trying to fill out the uh, fandom wiki for Marvel United so it's already quite a big uh, wiki with a lot of um, content on there uh, but Dave has started to sort of build out some pages for uh, the homebrew content so there's now a new homebrew uh, tab on the on the wiki um, and so if you're a homebrew designer you can go in there and um, and put your uh, your designs there, you can you know put links to where people can download the files and that sort of thing. Uh, and if you're not a designer but you would just enjoy the homebrew stuff and you want to see what's out there, uh, that's somewhere where you can go nice and easy and access it if, for example, you're not using um, the Discord and, and that sort of thing as well. So, yeah. Well, thanks guys. Um, that was a lot of fun. I ho well, I hope you enjoyed it. That was a lot of fun for me. Um, I'm so uh, happy to be able to show off Brute Force. I hope all, the, all those guys that um, were working on Brute Force I hope this did justice to them and, and uh, <laughs> it was a, a, a fun outing for you and, and you enjoyed seeing what they can do sort of thing. So, yeah. Thanks, guys. Maple Monkey out.